In this video, we'll see how to work on the shapes. How do we insert a shape, format the shape, and we can work with it in the different formats. So let us see that. Very first thing, if you want to insert a shape for the first time, you can go to the insert tab and you see there's an in the illustration group, you have the shapes option. You just click on the drop down and you'll get variety of shapes available. Any shape if you pick up, let's say if, you, if I pick up any uh, shape, let's say this one. So I'll pick up and it, it automatically draws or else you can also draw with your mouse itself, right? And now I'll just bring it down like this. Yeah, this is the shape given here. So once you click on the shape, what happens is the shape is selected and you'll get a format tab. That is nothing but a drawing tool. In this format tab, you can always format, let's say color, border color and so on. So I've selected right now. If I want to change the color, I can select from this shape style. You can see this. These are the inbuilt styles by uh, Microsoft Word. You can see, you can select any one of them. If you do not like the color of that, if you want to give your own color, you can choose from this shape fill like this. If you click on this shape fill, these are all the colors. So if you select any one color, you can give it. Still, if you want, you can give some pictures also. You can select this picture. You can insert any logo, any picture from here also. Similarly, there's some texture and gradient. You can choose whatever you want. Next, if you see, it is surrounded by yellow border. If you want to change the color of the border, let's say if you want to change the shape outline, let's say red line and I'll click on OK. So you see that's a red line, which is the border, right? If it's not visible, you can increase the thickness of this border. So I'll just click on this shape outline, go to weight and I'll click on this uh, six point and you see now it is visible. That is the thick outline, which is given here, right? So this way the shapes can work. And if you think the shape is not that good, you want to change the shape to some other thing, you can immediately go to this edit shape button and you see there's a change shape. These are all the shapes which are available. Let's say you like, don't like this one, you like some other shape and uh, let's say you like this shape. So you can select that shape and it automatically converts. At any point of time, if you think you need to add some text to your shape, right? So nothing you have to do is already the shape is selected use your keyboard to start typing. So I'll write here as uh, shapes in word, kind of some text you have written shapes in word and you just press escape key. If it is visible, well and good. If it is not visible, the text, I can increase the font size. Same like I increase the font size in word. I can go to the home tab and click on this increase size of the text. You see the size of the text has increased. Still, if you think it has to be modified, the text has to be modified. So you can go to the format tab and you can choose this word art styles. I'm talking about text inside the shape. You can choose the word art style and observe what is happening here. I'll select this blue color. Also, I'll select some other color, this one. So the word art style changes. Similarly, these are inbuilt word art styles. These are some inbuilt word art styles. If you want, you can choose your own style by clicking on this uh, you know, text color. So if you select here, let's yellow color, this becomes yellow color. Similarly, if you want to give some rotation, so you can select from here. That's the again, some other word art style and you can select this different rotation levels. I usually choose this one as 3D transformation. And on the left hand side, if you see right hand side, these are different transformation, you want text to be tilt, you can select. So I'll select this one. And you see it's changed, right? It has come into this shape, the, the text has been come, right? So it can be worked into different, uh, or you can say different ways itself. So this is when the shape is independently into one place, right? Now, uh, if you want to give a proper position, let's say the next one is if you want to give a position to your shape at some, let's say left corner, bottom corner, right or somewhere. So you can use this button here in the uh, format tab. So I'll just click on that and I can go to this format tab. On the right hand side in the format tab, you see there's a position. What is the position it says? Where do you want your shape? Do you want on the top? So if I click on top, see what happens in the shape. I'll click on this top. It comes on the top left corner. I'll just reduce the size here. Yeah. Similarly, if I ask him, I want in middle top, I mean middle center. So I'll select this option. So it came in the middle itself. So in a page, there are total nine positions. You see that is top, bottom and the middle one. Suppose you want at the uh, bottom right hand side corner, you can click on this button. And if you observe where the page ends, where the page ends, the shape is exactly on that place because this is a margin, right hand side margin and that is nothing but a footer. That's the reason the space has been left. So this is nothing but a position, choose any position you want and you can keep in center also in between. 
right so that is nothing but a position let us say if you want to keep your shape in between a text so there is a text surrounded so what you can do is i can select this text first cut go down this is my text i'll keep my cursor at any position and i'll paste paste so this is the text now if you observe my shape is surrounded by text on all the sides sometimes you want and sometimes you do not want so you observe here when i select the shape this is the icon which i'm getting if i click on that you see it says what type of format you want what type of layout you want if you want this one so if you if i click on this the shape will come on the left hand side like this you know the text has been gone away but if i select which one if i select this option let's say this one now the text has surrounded both the sides if i select this one the third one it says yeah if i select the third one it says the same thing again right so same way if i click on the shape go to format i'm talking about this wrap text option and more better way they have given here that is the square tight square thorough and the top and bottom so if i select top and bottom what happens is the text will be at the bottom and at the top middle portion there will be no text so that is the shortcut thing which you can select the position of the image and the text which should be surrounded so i hope you have understood how to work on the shapes insert a shape and format all the shapes you can also work with the text and shape at the same time i hope you like the video